Hello everyone, welcome to NNL One. So, do you also find it challenging to remember the adventitious breath sounds? Well, I have a simple trick for all of you, which is, can we really save the patients? C here stands for crackles, which are also known as rails. So, crackle sounds are the bubbling sounds, which indicates the presence of fluid in the alveolus, and they are majorly seen in the conditions of pneumonia or heart failure. Next, we have wheezing. So, wheeze sounds are high-pitched musical sounds which indicate the obstruction in the airway and they are typically seen in the condition of asthma. Next, we have R which is ronchi. So, ronchi are low-pitched snoring sounds which shows that there is secretions and they often clear after coughing. They are typically seen in the condition of chronic bronchitis or COPD. Next we have strider. Strider are high pitch sounds which indicates obstruction in the upper airways and they are typically seen in the conditions like foreign body obstruction or in the cases of flu. And last we have pleural rub. So pleural rub is a high pitch friction sound which indicates that there is inflammation in the pleura which is a hallmark sign in the case of pleuritis. So next time, just remember, can we really save the patients? And it will help you in assessing the patients and monitoring them at early phase so that interventions can be done timely. Therefore, an understanding of breath sounds is very important whenever you are going for respiratory assessment.